In Connecticut, as many as 110,000 school-age children suffer from a diagnosable mental health or substance abuse disorder. In the 2011-2012 school year, 1,668 Connecticut children experienced school-based court referrals. Many school-based court referrals are for behaviors that can be better handled through routine discipline and other interventions, and not through the court system. Thinking about that overlap between mental health and juvenile justice um, really is a good way to intervene in the school-to-prison pipeline, and it's really one of the foundations that SBDI was founded on. The School-Based Diversion Initiative, SBDI, is finding ways to bring balance back to our schools and communities. Through training sessions, consultation, the SBDI toolkit and support, school staff will strive to reach three primary goals. Reduce the frequency of expulsions, out-of-school suspensions, and discretionary school-based arrests. Link youth who are at risk of arrest to appropriate school and community-based services and supports and build knowledge and skills among teachers, school staff, and school resource officers to recognize and manage behavioral health crises in the school and access needed community services. So SBDI is a new way. It's a simple way of saying, I'm just gonna shift my perspective. Stop seeing problem kids, start seeing problem behaviors, and attack the problem behavior because that makes my school better. It makes my student better, it makes my community better. That partnership that the SROs have with the administrators and that bond that the SROs have with the students, that helps out tremendously. It helps out the school body, it helps out the, city, the citizens. I mean, it's just, it's a great partnership and that's what we're looking to expound on. The classroom teacher also needs to develop that type of relationship with the student. It comes in a lot of ways. Um, it comes from not just instruction, but it comes from developing a relationship within the classroom. The data shows that the schools participating in SBDI reduce court referrals by about 45% on average, with some schools reducing arrests by as much as 95% in the first year, and referrals to EMPS, the state's mobile crisis service, increase by 94% among participating schools. It is a win-win for all of us when we have a generation of young people who can go through our educational system despite their challenges and can come out on the other side successful, productive citizens, that really is what we want.